Today, we're going to do a short video on the capacity control valves that you could find on a carrier O6D or O6E compressor. Here you have an electric solenoid style unloading, and this is the pressure uh, style capacity control valve. Aside from being two different style of valves, you, they can be installed in two different types of heads. A suction cutoff style unloading, which is the newer type, and the hot gas bypass uh, unloading. Here on this electric solenoid unloader, you can see that there's a piston installed on the bottom. This would be set up for a hot gas bypass style unloading head. This one, which does not have it, is set up for a suction cutoff style unloading head. That does not mean that either of these valves cannot be used on either of those heads. You would just have to either remove this uh, to be able to use this valve on the suction cutoff style unloading or uh, it, uh, add it onto this one so it can be used on the hot gas bypass style unloading. If you want to get more information on how to actually install these on either of those types of heads, please go to our YouTube page where we have uh, detailed videos of us actually installing these on a head. Today, I'm just going over the two different types um, and some of the particulars, and uh, which it can be applicable for each. Um, so with the solenoid um, style loader, it's controlled obviously by a solenoid coil. On the pressure style loading, at the top, you have the control set point adjustment nut, which can be screwed up or down. When it's fully down, it is set at 85 PSIG, and then um, you can read the instructions based on how you uh, unscrew it, and it'll go from 85 to zero. On the side here, if you take this cap off, there is the pressure differential adjustment screw. And that's all, all this is how you would set this. As I said, this one is controlled by the solenoid coil. Um, other things to note is when installing these, if you're installing with the piston, before you install that piston, it's easier to make sure you have the gasket in place. Otherwise, you're gonna have to get it over the compression ring. Uh, the other thing is these gaskets um, are, can only really go on one way. And then the final thing to note is on either of these, when you install them, the Allen head cap screws that get um, put through these holes here when you're fixing it, the torque spec on those is 12 to 16 foot pounds. So next time you're working on a carrier, um, O6D or O6E, and you have a suck, uh, and you have either a suction cutoff style unloading or a hot gas bypass style unloading, you can have either, you can come across either of these two types of unloaders. And either of them can be used on either style, just depending on how you set them up. Thank you.